Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I am going to show you places to visit and activities you can do when visiting the Grand Cayman Islands. This is a one-day itinerary that your family will enjoy. The places and activities are family friendly and enjoyable especially to toddlers and of course the parents. Before I continue, kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Let's get started. First stop, Cayman Turtle Center. This is a must stop especially for families with kids. The Cayman Turtle Center is a conservation facility and tourist attraction located in the District of West Bay in Grand Cayman. First established in 1968, the facility was initially used to breed the endangered green sea turtle for commercial purposes. By raising the turtles in a farm operation, the turtle meat could be produced for local consumption without depleting the wild population of the species. Although still in operation as a farm for raising turtles in order to sell product, the Cayman Turtle Center has been developed into an important research facility and conservation facility. It is now also the largest land-based tourist attraction in Cayman Islands and welcomes more than 5,000 visitors annually. As I mentioned earlier, kids will enjoy the center because it has pools with a lot of juvenile turtles that kids can touch and even swim with them. Definitely a place worth visiting and worth the ticket price. Our next destination is Hell. Yes, you heard me right, we are going to Hell, but don't worry. I am not talking about the biblical hell. Hell is a small area with a local post office, a souvenir shop, and famous for its volcanic rocks that protrude from the ground. Just for fun, send postcards to everyone back home, and to their surprise, they will receive a postcard from hell. Also, when you get back home, you can tell your friends and family you have been to hell and survived. Your next adventure will take you to Stingray City. This attraction is the most popular on any of the three Cayman Islands and will definitely be one of the most memorable encounters your family will have. The city, as they call it, is actually a shallow sandbar located in the middle of the ocean. There are a lot of good operators on the island that can take you to the city. The only drawback to this tourist destination, since it is very popular, is it can get overcrowded. And that is what happened during our vacation. Nevertheless, we had a most memorable experience. When you reach the sandbar, you can in interact with and feed the wild Atlantic stingrays that live freely in those waters. These beautiful creatures will swim up, brush up, against your legs and are not shy about making contact with you when the food comes out. A must-do for family. You will end the day by relaxing at the most beautiful beach on the island, Seven Mile Beach. In 2015, Seven Mile Beach received the honor of the Caribbean's Best Beach from Caribbean Travel and Life magazine. It is home to the majority of the island's luxury resorts and hotels like the Ritz, Westin, and Marriott, to name a few. So grab your beach towel, find a beach seat or a cabana, and with a drink in your hand, let the calm waves and soft sands melt your troubles away. If you like this video, kindly hit subscribe. I appreciate all your help. Thank you.